What's up guys? Welcome back to episode number two of our new weekly vlog here with Luna and I from Terrier Owner. Welcome back to the channel guys and today I kind of referenced this in the last vlog whenever we clipped her nails which looked fantastic by the way but it's time for her bath so I had to get it on camera here. I'm gonna go through some of the steps and we're gonna dive right into it. It's coming up next. All right guys so I prepped it up a little bit before I actually started the camera rolling today. It is going to be a bath for her. Full disclosure it's a little bit different than what some of you might use as a bath because I'm actually using a shower because it has one of those detachable shower heads that I can use to spray her down, get her nice and lathered up with shampoo and conditioner and brush her out. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of the items I'm going to be using whenever I give her the bath and then we're going to head over to the shower and start bath time. Hopefully I can get a decent camera angle for you guys, no promises, it is a shower. It's not the easiest thing to do with a camera for a YouTube video but we'll do our best. But the first thing I'm going to do guys obviously so I'm gonna take off this collar that many of you have commented on that it is time to get her a new one anyways I think she probably agrees but this thing is just ran its course so we're gonna take off this collar just relax she probably thinks that means she's going for a yeah I can't even say it I gotta spell it so she doesn't know but that pro she probably thinks that somehow that means she we're about ready to go for a W A L K. Little does she know she's actually going into the shower. All right guys, so next, what I'm gonna bring in there with me is a brush like this. Does good just getting some, she, oh, there's a treat on the table. My bad, here's what she wants. You happy now? That was supposed to be for bath time. I was gonna bring a milk bone in there just to keep her calm and chewing on something, but that's what she was going crazy for. But I got the brush. Here, this is just like a basic, you can buy it at like Petco or probably Walmart, honestly. If you were gonna <laughs> clip the nails after the shower, again, I used these in the last weekly vlog, but here's these nail trimmers I use, the Boschels, if that's how you say it. <laughs> really, with the milk bones still in your mouth. These guys here, if you're gonna do it after, I am not because I did it last week. I love these rubber, they're called the Zoom Grooms, the Kong brushes. They're soft, you can press pretty hard with them. I'll put a link down in the description below for this, but these are amazing. Uh, get one of these, they work really well. And then I actually left the shampoo in the shower, but it's the same Earth Bath, it's the same brand. This is a conditioner, but it's just an oatmeal, an aloe conditioner for, helps with uh, like hypoallergenic, detangling, relieves itching, and then of course it conditions them. But we're gonna use that. And now guys, I'm gonna get situated. I am gonna go move her to the shower. I'm gonna try and find a camera angle for you guys too. Give me just a second and we'll start bath time. Luna's going for her bath today. She has no idea what's about to happen today. All right, we got one handful of the supplies, one handful of dog, one minute here and I'll bring you in here with us. Whoa! Almost lost it. Don't wear shoes in the shower. Oh man, and my platform to sit is all wet. Have towels. Get some lights on in there for you guys. There we go. Put me here. I had to dry off my seat. You don't want the water too hot guys, you want to keep it kind of just lukewarm so it doesn't freak them out or obviously burn their skin. The areas of emphasis, and I bet the echo is terrible on my audio right now so I apologize greatly, is usually the underbelly around the butt, the paws, and you got to do, be really careful around the face because you don't want to get water in their ears or their eyes if you can avoid it. So what I'm going to do now that she's kind of lathered up is I'm just going to set this shower head down over here, just like that, let it spray on the ground, 
I'm gonna get some shampoo in my hands and then put it on her. I'm gonna try and get a good camera angle for this guy's too. No promises. Might need to move her actually in the view. Shampoo it first. I'm just gonna use my hands for this guys. I'm just gonna move her so you can see her. I'm just gonna lather this in there real good. I'm gonna get that underbelly as good as you can. And right now I'm not really brushing or getting much debris out. I'm just getting the shampoo in her. I'll do that with the actual brush itself. Right, Lenny? She does great with the shampooing part. She just doesn't like being sprayed with water. Get a little more of this. I'm gonna do a little more shampoo. A drop of shampoo goes a long way, guys. You don't need a ton of it. I just wanted a little more for her belly and her paws here. Top of her head. Now we can start brushing her out a little bit more. Okay. Some of that loose hair out. I'm gonna brush her out with the shampoo and then I'm gonna do some conditioner. I'm just getting her back legs right now. I'm not getting her ears wet. Getting the sides of her belly and her back and her underbelly here. Now I'm gonna grab a little bit of conditioner, rinse her out, and honestly, I still need to clean her paws. And it wouldn't hurt to do it around her face, but I don't know if I'm gonna put her through that here on camera yet. If not, this is the conditioner I'm getting on her now. I do wanna get these paws though. Just kinda wipe them clean with my hands. Get her underbellies here. And then, uh, her out again. Now I'm just getting the conditioner off of her. She's not super dirty. She just, it's been like eight weeks, so she's just kind of stinky. It's kind of that summer weather stink she has going on. Nothing terrible. Just, just a little stink. Now I'm using this brush here. Just doing one more comb through, one more rinse. And then we will get her out. She smells like she's been on a long day of fishing. Alright, I should turn this water off for her. She's under the hose. What's my bad, Luna? Probably never allowed to give you a bath in anyway. Nope, you're not getting out of here. Yeah, you're soaked. You are soaked. Towel first, girl. She's gone. I lost her. I'm just kidding, she's right here. Ooh. Oh yeah, you sound like a horse. I'm just drying her off now, guys. Or as good as I can. Let's see how long it takes her to get out of the towel. Oh, you did it right away. Good job. All right. Be right back, people. All right, guys, so that was bath time in a nutshell. I know it was kind of a quick way of doing it. You know, all I really did is get all my stuff together, put it in the shower itself, got the water at a nice warm temperature. I started just by getting her wet, and then I applied a little bit of shampoo. I just use it a dropping on my finger basically. I did that twice. And I really wanna focus on paws, legs, and underbelly. That's kinda of where 
most of the dirt and debris builds up and focus on brushing them out. You wanna get rid of some of that dead hair and debris in the hair. And then after that, I just applied a dropping of the conditioner. She did really well with it. You could see she was a little timid of the water, nothing that was a huge deal, but overall a quick, what, 10, 15 minute task altogether. I still need to wash the towel I dried her with, but not a major task to complete. But here's a few other tips, guys, is don't do it too often. This isn't a dog that needs it a ton. I do it about every six to eight weeks, sometimes even further stretched than that. Eight weeks was kind of pushing it. She had a little bit of a stench to her. She wasn't really dirty though. Like when I was combing her out, it's not like the, the shower floor was getting dirty or there was a ton of dirt and debris. She just was getting a stench, so it was time. If you do it too often, you risk drying out their skin and some other issues, so spread it out. Brushing in between is the best way to keep the hair in good shape, but it's an easy task to complete. Gets her back to smelling great. When I was done, I just put her outside because it's about 85 degrees, she'll dry off. I dried her off with the towel like you guys saw, and. That's it. I might comb around one more time and that's a wrap for the next couple months. Guys, be sure to drop some comments about how you give your Jack Russell Terrier a bath. If I missed a step that you do that you recommend, leave those comments down below. Give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying these new vlog style videos that are more just, you know, us interacting and a day in the life with a Jack Russell. If you would like to, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We make new videos every week at 11 a.m. Central and we mix in these vlogs as well. Sometimes these are on Sundays or they'll get added into the week. Otherwise, guys, we'll see you in the next video. We appreciate you. Have a great Sunday and take care.